Hey everyone, Daryl here, coming in with another technical analysis and overview uh, of a stock for you guys. Today is January 17th, it's currently 8.50 at night, and I wanted to go over a stock for you guys. It's a very high probability chart that I want you guys to take a look at, and pretty much I've been printing off of this uh, recently. But currently, Alibaba on the daily time frame using TradingView. I've done a lot of the groundwork for you guys, but I'm just going to go over everything that I'm seeing in this chart, right? So overall, capitulated stock already. Now we're seeing some resurgence in the stock and we're seeing levels of retracement. So like I said, when I am doing my technical analysis, I want to get an overview of what's going on. Is it trading in some sort of channel? Is it some trading under some sort of falling wedge? In this case, as you can see here, as I've outlined, there's a falling wedge. Every time it's hit on this top band of this sort of falling wedge, it dips every time there it, it hits this lower end of this wedge, it bounces off of it. As you can see here, bounce, 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 right? Now we're at the lower end of the wedge. We recently capitulated, went outside of that wedge, but we re instantly reclaimed it. What else do I see here? I ended up outlining my Fibonacci retracements. I wanna find areas that are high probability, deep retracements that I can go into. Like I said in my previous video, 0.786 Fib, later before we initially had it, we bounced off of it into a moving average as resistance and fell back into the Fibonacci. Now we're trading below the 0.786 Fib at 71.27, but we are at the lower wedge. So what do I see what else do I see in this stock? We are currently trading within a major area of demand, as I have, you can see outlined here. Every time it's hit this area of major demand, historically speaking, you can see here, this is August or September 2015. Every time we've hit this area, bounced off of it, right? There is another major area of demand that I have outlined down over here so if this area of demand ends up failing we could end up falling here but it's roughly around a 15% loss if you guys were to enter into it like I said I'm not gonna take this stock for a loss if anything I'm gonna be layering in my buys right it, stock may be down 15% but my position if it were to go south I would be down roughly around 10% so here is where the stock stands currently sitting on an area of major demand if it fails i can definitely see the stock traveling all the way to 5766 maybe even a little further down to capitulate people right but i'm going to do a ruler show you guys where exactly you could you may end up losing if you ended in a position overnight right so there's about a 15 percent downside like i said slightly a little bit more if we end up capitulating i give myself 15 to 20 percent downside in this stock but like I said, highly unlikely we are sitting on very a lot of hidden divergences, some of which I want to go over with you guys. Even if I maybe maybe the stock goes south and I may be down 15, 20% in my position, we are always protecting our downside. We're never going to go 100% into a position. We are going to layer our buys, whether it's with three buys, whether it's with five buys. We'll, why do I do that? Like I said, if the stock ends up 15%, a lot of the times I'm going to be down 10 13% waiting for a rebound. What do I see in the stock that's pretty much hidden? Like I said, a lot of volume compared to usual, trading with a lot lower volume historically here, and now we've been seeing a lot of accumulation. We saw a lot of selling pressure down here, but we saw instant buying pressure, instantly bought up right into reclaiming that falling wedge. Where do I see the stock heading? Like I said, profit take one, 76.01 at a moving average. Looks like this moving average is aligned with the top wedge over here, which is another take profit too. Where, what else do I see in the stock? I see an RSI divergence, right? I have the indicators here. I have RSI pretty much pulled up for, for us. Here's the RSI. Remember what RSI is, it is a oscillator. It's always gonna be moving. Where, what RSI is Alibaba currently trading at? It's at a daily of 33.41 currently we're pretty much at oversold territory already but i'm also seeing a rsi divergence remember what an rsi divergence is well first an overview of what rsi is rsi is an indicator a moving oscillator that tells you pretty much whether a stock is being oversold or whether it's being overbought so if a stock is traveling down it is more likely that the stock is going to be considered oversold. If it's being overbought, you can see that the RSI will travel further up. An RSI divergence is when it does the opposite. So 
let me go in a little bit in further detail for you guys here. RSI here, as you can see, as it travels from this point, this point, so look at the stock where it travels right here, right? So I'm gonna label that for you guys, right he over here, and you can see it travels downward right over here. I'm gonna put this in a different color so you guys can take a better look at it, right? So I'll put this in red here. So that is a, lot, a trend line from this point to this point. You can see overall the price has been going down. Where's that divergence? You would expect that a stock, if it were to go down, that the stock would be considered more and more oversold, correct? Well, here's the divergence. Here's what's going under the scene. If you guys don't have this indicator, this is a very useful tool that I want you guys to pretty much use in your technical analysis, especially if you have confluences of a area of major demand and falling back into the wedge. We'll see how it plays off tomorrow, but this is a great setup that I love taking. So what do I see here? Price is traveling down. RSI is actually going into the more overbought territory. Look here. Look at the line, how it correlates to this line. And look at this line, how it correlates to this bar. RSI had traveled up. This is considered a RSI divergence. So overall in the stock, like I said, I enter into stocks that, have had, that has reached capitulation levels. I want to see the overall picture in a grand scheme of things, whether it's the daily, the weekly, the monthly. I want to get an overview of what the stock is trading, uh, sort of what is it trading under. Seems to be doing a falling wedge. Every time it hits this lower end of the falling wedge, it jumps up, jumps up, jumps up. We capitulated out of that, uh, that wedge recently, but reclaimed it instantly. I'm seeing volume here. We're sitting on an area of major demand and I'm seeing an RSI divergence. A lot of confluences to support my thesis that this stock is going to go up fairly quickly. Like I said, I'm always gonna protect my downside. I always have the long-term mindset. If things go south, I'm simply just going to dollar cost average into once it hits another area of major demand. If this level loses, what do I see it losing? It'll hit into this area of major demand. I'll start layering into my buys. Eventually, I can definitely see the stock heading towards 57.66. Like I said, I know what my downside is, roughly around a 15 to 20% loss. I'm not going to take that loss, like I said, because I'm gonna be protecting my downside and layering in my buys. I may down, the stock may be down 15%, but I will only be roughly around 10 to 13%. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I just wanted to just give an overview of what goes on in my mind when these sort of setups play out. And we'll see tomorrow. Let's see how tomorrow plays out and I'll give you guys an update on how things go. All right guys, take care, happy trading.